morning children how are you are you fine at home i hope all are keeping fine at home are you enjoying oh boring ah some will be boring because you want to come to the school play with your friends chat with them isn't it okay i am asha jot today i will teach you mathematics do you like mathematics ah yes many of you like mathematics because it is an easy subject there is nothing to by heart no need of writing and study only want to understand the things mathematics is like a game playing with numbers now we will start our new lesson the name of our new lesson is yama four digit numbers yama four digit numbers four digit number means a number which is having four digits now i will show you some numbers can you see these numbers yes can you read this 6 24 300 57 can you say how many digits are there in this number ha ah, 1 2 three we use it to read the number according to the place values if we take this number we use it to read the place value from this side 1 10 100 so we will read 357 1 1 10 we use it to read together like 57 42 99 9600 9, so 1 10 100 we will read 357 1 9 10 we use it to read together now i will show you a place value chart here i have written the place values 1 10 100 1000 10 and 1 we use to read together and they have a strong relationship between each other can you say one relation they have ah they may be friends or relatives okay let's find out their friends or relatives listen here 10 ones form a 10 10 tens form a 100 Ten hundreds form a thousand. Once more, ten ones form a ten. Ten tens form a hundred. Ten hundreds form a thousand. Did you understand the relationship? Yes. Now they are friends. When we add ten tens, then we will get a hundred. Ten ten hundreds, we will get a thousand. And by using this place value we can read any number very easy now let's read some numbers of okay. i have written some numbers here 4 2 6 3 can you read this number do you feel difficulty then i will say any seven i will write these numbers in these columns four Two, six, three. I wrote these numbers in these columns. Now let's read. Four thousand two hundred. Then ten and one together sixty three. Then how can we read this number? Four thousand two hundred sixty three. We use to read ten and one together. Okay. Now understand how to read. Then let's read next number also. I will write five, nine, six, eight. And how we will read? Oh, read five thousand nine hundred sixty-eight. Very good. Then let's read next number. Six, three. Four zero six three four zero. Then how we will say six thousand three hundred forty. 
there is uh, in the place of 1 there is 0 so we will write 10 and 1 together 40 then let's read next number 7,400 and 2 okay now it is enough to read numbers okay now if we want to write these numbers in words this also very easy we can write 4,263 but you have to study the spelling of 1000 and 100 okay now if anyone asks how many ones are there in the 4263 then easily we can say three ones how many tens are there six tens how many hundreds are there two hundreds how many thousands are there four thousand if by according to the place value or by reading according to the place value we can find out how many ones how many tens how many hundreds and how many thousands are there in the in a numbers now i will give an activity can we can you do okay ah, here is a tree some clouds are there okay here i have written one number can you read okay read already you can learn know how to read three two thousand five hundred seventy three and here it is asked how many thousands are there how many hundreds are there how many times and how many ones are there can you say ah okay we will start from ones onwards how many ones are there oh very good three ones how many times are there okay very good seven times how many hundreds are there 500 okay very good how many thousands are there two thousands okay good children so we will read 2573 very good now you understood how to read and write four digit numbers we know that thousand is the smallest four digit number so by adding different hundreds we will get thousand can you say two numbers which we can add together and form a thousand ah ah 500 plus 500 we will get thousand and uh, many numbers we will add together and we will get thousand now i will give a work for you that you have to complete did you understand how to do this here I have written thousand. Here some numbers are given. But in these columns, one number is missing. When we add the given number and the missing number, we will get thousand. When we add the given number and missing number, we will get thousand. Okay. Then we have to find out the missing number. How we will find out the missing number? Can you say? Ah. Ah, we can uh, add with, uh, so many numbers with 800. Then if you answer, we will get. Okay. Then I will say an easy way to. Okay. If you subtract the given number from the thousand. Subtract means correct. If you subtract the given number from the answer or thousand you will get the missing number if you subtract the given number from the thousand we will get the missing number let's find out what we will do i will take the 700 we will subtract the 700 from the thousand then we will get the let's see 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 7, we can do, so we will take 10 together, 10 minus 7, 3, so we got 300, so we will write here, so 700 plus 300, we will get the answer, 1000, if you have any doubt, you add these two numbers together, then we can find out, answer will be 1000. So, balance three missing numbers you have to find out. Are you ready? Okay. It is very easy. You can do. Okay. 
we will see in the next class take care bye bye